Kick. I mean, it's day two. For the fifth time. <laughs> in five days. Tracking my calories is the way that I lost weight a lot in the past. It's been a while, probably a year since I did that because it was before the wedding. But feeling motivated, especially because of grilling, it's like so easy to make like delicious, healthy food. So we're gonna stay motivated. Um, I don't think my coffee is too bad for me. It's black iced coffee and then 30 calories for a tablespoon. So this is 30 or 50 calories. Meanwhile, at Dunkin' it'd be like a bajillion because of what I get. What I planned for breakfast today for me and Vinny. Also, I had a random, we were watching TV last night. We watched Waco, by the way. And if you guys have it, you need to watch it. But like also maybe don't because I literally cried for like an hour. It was so heartbreaking. A lot of you DM me and said that you like felt the same way, but it was so good. It just shattered my soul. But then I had like a little motivational burst and I kind of like tidied up the house a little bit of what. <laughs> Get out of the fridge, I'm making you breakfast and out of here. Anyway, I had a really big motivational burst. So I just like cleaned up the house before bed and it was really nice to wake up to a clean house. All right, so we're gonna start with two tablespoons of PB2. And then we're gonna do half a banana. Actually, no, we're gonna do the yogurt next. So we can do almost a cup. This is around 300 calories, but it has like over 25. That, that? It has over 25 grams of protein. Yeah, but we don't work out. <laughs> it's 3:41 p.m. The day is flying by, but we've spent all day outside. Basically, vinny has been doing a lot of work in the yard. He took down that swing set, and he's just been doing a lot of work. I tanned for a little bit, and then I took Beasley on a run, and then I did a bunch of like home workouts. I tried to clean the duck off a little bit. So yeah, she's been like a really nice outside day, but I'm gonna take a shower and do my lashes soon. But first I just wanted to make a smoothie, a coconut water, a bunch of spinach, and some berries. But I want to make it a really big smoothie. I have a little bit of daily greens powder left. And a little bit of collagen left. When I'm with you, I'm on flight mode. You move me inside, yeah. Then we get disturbed. So many people let me know I should bounce from your world, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody told me I should hit and run. But they don't know, they don't know, they don't know. No. 
Okay, so I went a little MIA after my smoothie, but I just took a shower. I did my lashes, but I did my old method, and I had a lot easier of a time putting them on. I don't know if it's because it's been a little bit, so it was easier for me, but I'll see how they retain, and I'll let you guys know, and then I can always show you guys how I do that method, but I took a picture in my egg chair, so I'm a little bit dressed up than usual, and I'm ready to grill, like always. I started drinking my Greyhound. Backyard's looking a mess. It's so hard to keep a white deck clean. Like, I can't wait to have like stone or brick or concrete one day, but it was a beautiful day. And we are grilling up a whole bunch of stuff. We have some chicken left. I have some chopped veggies. I have corn, I have burgers. And it's not too windy today, so hopefully it's a little bit easier to hear me because I feel like I love filming outdoor vlogs, but it is so damn hard to hear me all the damn time. So I want to start with the corn because I feel like it takes the longest to cook. bouncing on my egg chair. Everything is on the grill and I like to put on medium heat and let it sit for longer. Just cause one, I feel like it tastes really good and two, I kind of get to chill out in between flipping it. So I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. Vinny spent all day just doing some yard stuff. We took down our swing set and we're continuously clearing out the like island in the middle of the lawn that we had started clearing out in the fall and we kind of just were clearing out pompous grass and just starting to get the lawn ready to like focus on the grass. I kind of took today a little bit easy and just started doing stuff that I wanted to do. Like I kind of worked out for a good hour or so, not like heavily, but kind of just like enjoying the weather so it's currently april 28th as of right now the stay at home order is lifted in new york somewhat as of right now may 16th they could just extend that completely but what i think that they're going to be doing is i think they're going to be opening up in phases so basically starting may 16th phase one starts and each phase is going to last two weeks so people that can like work in an office by themselves or people that can be in an office and not really like be within six feet of each other and construct like things that aren't that much of a risk I definitely don't think hairdressers fall in places in that. Also, it's supposed to be like the next essential people and same thing. It's so funny. I feel like every state, they're looking at hairdressers very differently. Like I know in Georgia, they actually let the hairdressers go back before they even ended their current stay at home order, which I think is crazy. But I know Cuomo is very big on the, you cannot do hair and be six feet apart, which she's not wrong. So I want to say that we're going to be either phase two or three and if they're doing every two weeks I don't know I just have a feeling it's going to be like June 8th which is so crazy when you think about it like I, I've heard some other people say this but like I feel like people are starting to get really used to it and like I don't know I almost felt used to it immediately which I don't know if it's a good thing but like don't get me wrong I miss doing hair I can't wait to go back to work I need to go back to work but I just don't really feel I don't feel like it's been two months so it's been like six weeks right now I felt busy every single day like, that's why I want to take today a little bit easier to begin with because I love posting on YouTube and I do feel like that's the reason why I haven't gone crazy is just because I feel like I've been so busy with constantly uploading and editing like I've been uploading three times a week and with editing I basically been doing something for it every single day I feel like. like I know a lot of people who've said like there's been so many days where I haven't gotten out of bed and I've just been sitting and watching Gossip Girl and like laying in pajamas and even though I basically just wear pajamas because I just wear my loungewear all day anyway I don't feel like there's been any day where I've just sat down and watch Netflix all day and I feel like I need to have at least one of those before I go back to work I don't know I'm torn like one part of me feels like this is great I'm never going to have an opportunity again to sit down and just focus on YouTube when I'm not working I feel like a part of me just feels like this is the perfect time to do that and just focus on growing my channel but then the other part of me is like I'm going to go from doing this every single day and not having a time off or having a break to going and doing hair literally seven days a week for a month or two straight so I don't know I can't I need to find a better balance I think we find more motivation doing it ourselves versus someone else telling us to do it if that makes sense like with him with his school he really just teaches himself everything 
anything anyway and for me with youtube tara michelle i saw her say like sometimes it she'll just like relax in the morning and then at noon start doing it i wish i was like that because i feel like instead what i do i'll wake up and then, okay i immediately need to do it just to finish it and then i can enjoy the rest of my day but then by the time that i'm done doing what i have to be doing it's like two o'clock i'm like well now i need to clean or now i need to cook or now i need to plan or now i need to film like i feel like there's always something and i never get that relaxation so i wish i was the type of person that would be like okay i'm gonna like relax outside and tan or i'm going to like relax and just watch tv until one and then get my day started but i've never been like that even with hair when i do like half days i'll do like a client or two in the morning and i'll be like I'm gonna just do a client or two in the morning because then by the time I'm home, it's only one and then I can enjoy the rest of my day. But I feel like but once I'm home, I already just feel like I worked all day. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I can't even imagine I haven't even been back at the salon and I know a lot of people have been going back to their salon or their studio and just kind of like either cleaning or just making sure like I haven't even stepped foot there. Like it's so hard for me to even picture working right now. Let's check on our food. Now we're going under. We're sitting out finally. Give it all up, set me free. Ooh, oh my god, that burger looks great. We're sitting out finally. Give it all up, set me free. You know the one day I will. home vlogs like I said we've been definitely staying super busy whether it's like at home date nights or barbecues or like I have so much white clothes to tie-dye just to touch on that I've been planning this video for a couple weeks now but of course everything's taking a long time to get in which is completely fine as soon as I saw like the tie-dye trend was coming back I was like okay cool but I'm not super into bright colors but I love color like I know right now I'm wearing black but if I'm not wearing black or white I love muted colors like tan mauve blush sky blue a sage green lilac like I wear a lot of like muted colors like that so when I started to see some of the muted colors come into play I was like okay hell yes yeah. so I have so many clothes so I'm gonna be doing a massive video on that and I'm pretty sure it's all I'm going to be wearing for a very long time because I just think it's so freaking cute I loved tie-dyeing when I was younger like I wore it all the time and I loved doing it like I did like the roller skating parties when I was little but I know I also did like a tie-dye party like I just think it's so much fun that's a video coming up but if there's anything else that you guys would like to see definitely let me know because I love recommendations from you guys. I know we're kind of limited on what we can do. I mentioned this before, but in two weeks, we were supposed to be on our one year anniversary trip to Dominican Republic. And I had so many fun video ideas planned for that. So I'm a little bummed that that got canceled, but I'm just happy that we weren't supposed to be getting married this year. So I really can't complain too much. I think I'm gonna start grabbing everything for the food. Okay, so we got Vinny out here. Mm. What, the burger? Mm -hmm. Good. I want to sit on the floor. Candles open up. Now it's all ashes. Is sit enough finally? Give it all up, set me free. You already took all the best of me. Is it enough? I actually think I want to try and do a combined vlog with tomorrow and see if we get a little bit more footage that way. So I'll check back in tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. It's a little later in the day. It's, holy crap, it's already 2.30. I don't know. It's been a super low-key day, but if I can keep up with this, I would really like to because what I've been doing the last two nights is like, I don't know, it's been like two random nights where we like either finished what show or movie we were watching and I get like this random spurt of energy to clean. So like last night, I literally was like doing the dishes at 2 a.m. because I just got like this random burst of energy. And it's been really nice to like wake up to like a mostly clean house and not really have to worry about it for the majority of the day. So it's not too bad in here. I think I've kind of grilled ourselves out because I think I grilled three times in the last three days. So I think I want to make a crock pot dish tonight. So, so we got some chicken, we have an onion, peppers, jalapenos. I think that's good. And then later we could throw it over like a flatbread or a salad. Do I have any? And I think I want to use the Mr. Cook's Ghost Pepper Simmer Sauce because this stuff is so good. Just threw the raw chicken in there. 
And now I just have chopped up jalapeno, half habanero, peppers and onion, and kind of just. And there's like a third left of this. So I think I'm just going to pour the whole thing in there. I'm gonna put some tomato sauce in there. Garlic salt, pepper, onion powder, Cajun, and red peppers. And I'm just gonna put that on high heat for six hours just cause there's a lot of chicken in there. I love crock pot meals. I just feel like they're so easy. You literally just dump everything in. And especially if you're making like a lot of chicken or something like this, it's just like you can make a lot of it and then you can kind of just put it over anything you want for the next couple days. So I think it's officially time. I'm getting bored with the living room and I can't buy any more home decor right now. So I need something new to look at. So we're gonna move the couches. Cause we're spending the night And it feels alright But it's over now Yo yeah. I really don't remember it like this Do you? With your skin next to mine And your lips I can fight I think my mind only remembers like three months At a time Like I can remember three months very well But anything before that Like my mind like, Was it like this for Christmas? I'm gonna move around some stuff Until I like the way that it looks What's it on make believe? Something you never needed. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. We go back, we go back, we go back, we collide. Losing track, losing track, even got no sound trying. So this is what we moved everything to. Gonna move my ottoman. The palm trees in the back. Pompous grass was annoying me because they're wilting. So they're over there. Couches are back in the middle. And it's gonna be weird not having like the outlet right next to it. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. I just need to constantly move things around if I'm not buying things. Something you never needed. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. We go back, we go back, we go back. So the crock pot is almost done. I think I'm gonna put it over some flatbreads. I'm like super bummed today. Not even like cute bum like usual. Like this is like actual homeless man bum. I also wanna make some chocolate covered strawberries because we have real chocolate and we have a strawberries. So I have some of the Baker's unsweetened chocolate that I used when we made that brownie pie for Easter. So I'm gonna use some of that. So it said. So basically it said to put a little saucepan, fill it up with a couple inches of water and let it boil and then just put in however much chocolate. This is like real unsweetened, very dark chocolate. I am going to add a little sugar and a lot of sugar. The chicken is looking, it's looking so good. And these are the little artesian pizza flatbreads. They're literally 130 calories of flatbread. Oh, I didn't even see that it has instructions. So this is for a crispy crust, pre-baked for at 375 for two minutes. Top it and then pop it back in for a couple more minutes. I unfortunately don't have any more cheese after yesterday, so it's gonna go cheeseless. I'm gonna see what else we have to kind of make it a little bit more good. Hmm. Is there a better way to do this? It's turkey basting day. Just letting you guys know, this is not gonna be the aesthetic way to do this. So if that's what you were looking for, this ain't it. I'm really just globbing chocolate on strawberries and eating them because that's what I want right now. I'm watching Desi Perkins Fertility Journey Part 1 right now. It came out either last night or this morning, like less than 24 hours ago. And it's funny, I've actually heard of Desi Perkins a lot. Like a lot of my favorite YouTubers watch her, but I've never actually watched her myself until I heard all about this series and just how much people really liked it. And I've got to say, I really like it so far. 
I thought way you guys can somewhat see me when I talk. So we finished Waco, like I told you guys. I freaking loved it, and now we don't have anything to watch. I was trying to watch Outer Banks because everyone has been talking about it. We're like literally 10 minutes into the first episode, and I'm not hooked yet, and I like to be hooked within like 30 seconds of watching someone. I'm super impatient, so I like to be hooked like immediately. I want to try and give it a shot again because everyone is so freaking obsessed with it, and I want to get into it. Guys, I'm failing at this. I don't know if it's the type of chocolate it was or just how I did it, but this is horrible. It's probably gonna taste really good, but it just looks really bad. Like, it looks like someone crapped on my strawberries. I like the texture of the chocolate though. Like, I feel like that'd be like good fudge. Should I maybe let the chocolate cool? No, because then it wouldn't be melted. I also didn't really follow a recipe. I just knew I had dark chocolate. And then I read somewhere that some people simmer water in a pot, so that's what I did. So I didn't really follow directions. But I have some like powder sugar and I'm just going to do this because why not? And here's how my strawberry massacre is looking. No touch. Look at me. No touch. Good girl. Come on, sit with mommy. Yes. Lay down. Lay down. Most awkward angle, but I don't know where to set you guys up right now. Kept watching Desi Perkins video. I really like her. Like, I didn't see a lot of vlogs on her channel. I don't know. I'm looking at her family channel, like the Perkins, and I want to try and see if I can find any more vlogs. I'm not super into like main channel channel videos anymore. When I was 15, I loved watching like makeup tutorials and like foundation reviews and I really honestly could just care less so I really love vlogs and lifestyle vlogs and like young couples and about to start their family because I feel like that's obviously more like like us so I guess you kind of want to watch people that you are like I guess but I love her she seems really 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 sweet it's Wednesday right now the days are literally blurring together like I had no idea it was Wednesday but he was like I have school tonight and I was like it's Sunday and he was like so I'm like oh Okay, guess you're right. It was crappy out today and I'm so impacted by the weather, which I feel like everyone is, but Vinny is not at all. So it's very weird being with someone who's not impacted by the weather whatsoever. Like he's in the same mood. If it's raining and dark out versus if it's sunny out, like he's always just kind of like schmoop versus like if it's raining, I'm down here. And if it's sunny, I'm up here. I might want to try and switch it up a little bit because right now I've been on a very strict, like the beginning of quarantine, I was doing every other day post. Then I was doing Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday post. And what's tough with that is like, I'm always like, okay, I have to be doing something motivating or productive or interesting in general on these exact days and I feel like I'm also kind of cramming it into one day versus if I wanted to do a clean with me over a couple days or something like that I feel like I don't really feel like I can so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to do twice a week give everyone because I also feel like a lot of people are uploading all the time and I know I am a smaller channel I'm sure that everyone watching has channels up there just as interested in, if not more interested in, a little of me. So I want to do twice a week just to give people a little bit more like time to catch up on my videos, but I want to try and make them longer. Me personally, I feel like I'd rather have like two 25, 30 minute videos from someone versus three or four like 10 minute videos from someone a week. Like I always end up having like three or four hours of footage and then I always end up only having like a 10, 15 minute video and it's so frustrating. Like I think I would rather only post twice a week and have a lot longer of a video and have it be over a couple days. Like it could be like a few days in my life or like weekends in my life or something like that. I don't know, something about like spending eight hours editing and uploading a video for it to only be like 12 minutes is very annoying to me and that's how I feel like it's been recently like when me and Vinny did our barbecue the other night obviously we weren't filming the whole entire day but like I felt like we were filming so much and that ended up being like a 15 minute video so I think I'd much rather maybe stretch it over the course of a few days not have set days for it just so I'm not trying to like force fun especially during quarantine I had so many ideas for things that I'd be filming right now let's go top these pizzas off I have these two little literally they're very tiny but what can you expect for 160 calories oh maybe I should put some tomato sauce on them first hang on let me just kind of take some tomato sauce since I don't have cheese kind of just smush that on there then kind of just think I want this guy so I'm gonna put tomatoes on mine so it says to only put them in the oven at 350 for a couple minutes but I'd rather just turn the oven off and it's still warm because everything's already cooked and just kind of leave it in there until Vinny is done upstairs which is probably gonna be another half hour or so so I'm gonna throw that in there oh like speaking of video ideas I saw a couple people ask about like Sorry, my top of my head's always cut off. So a couple people ask about like doing a me and Vinny's favorite cocktail type of video and kind of like our favorite drinks and stuff like that. But like, 
what is a good format for that video that you guys would like to see? Because I feel like that could be like, I don't want to just sit there and be like, this is my favorite drink. And just like list 10 drinks. Like, I feel like there has to be a funner way. What we could always do is like make the cocktail, like take a clip from each night and kind of explain what we're making and everything. Or we can do it like a fun video all in like a day or like a weekend or something like that and kind of put something else behind it. Like, I don't know. Is there any like games? Do people do games anymore where they're like drink if? Like, I don't know. Like just something cute like that. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know and I'm going to sit my butt here. I really like the living room like this I really love the olive tree in here I love the olive tree in the backyard But it kept knocking over and it was really just driving me absolutely freaking bananas So I think it looks really cute like that. I don't know. I just like low maintenance things Pizza gave us a little issues coming off the tray, but we are ready to go Yeah I know they look funny. I couldn't get them to do like the dip thing. I need to fudge. Mm -hmm. okay. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know anything else that you guys would like to see. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.